Hello, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com and this is your weekly tarot card reading. And for this week's reading, I am using the Heart and Hands Tarot by Liz Blackbird. Okay, so I'm going to draw three cards. Each card is going to represent a portion of the upcoming week. And my intention here with this reading is just to get a, an overview or a sneak peek into the week ahead and what we can expect. Okay, so I'll start with the first card, which represents Monday and Tuesday. Ooh, and we have the Three of Swords. And this is such a, um, a potent, intense, emotional card. The Three of Swords is often seen as a card of heartbreak and it can be it can represent actually having your feelings hurt by someone but oftentimes it's about seeing the truth and seeing things in their bare naked clarity and sometimes the truth and when we finally see things clearly it's not very gentle it can be kind, almost kind of harsh this harsh reality and so yeah, the, and the Three of Swords represents that, that feeling of having the fog lift and seeing things for what they are and seeing things very clearly. And if we've been under the spell of illusion, and if we've been trying to delude ourselves in some way and wrapped in this shroud of uh, passivity and, and um, perhaps, I want to say, positivity but what, what do you call that when you're overly optimistic like almost too optimistic I think there's a word for it but I can't remember when that haze kind of lifts and you're left with this stark reality it can be really shocking and it can be um, it can be jarring I'm gonna come back to this card I want to move on to the middle card so Wednesday and Thursday we have the Prince of Cups and I love the court cards in this deck. They're just so, they have such personality. So the Prince of Cups, to me, I imagine him being like a, a kind of a hippy dippy in a way, but very, very seductive. This is the kind of guy I imagine who would, you know, be playing a guitar and smoking a joint and, and he's very, uh, he's very seductive on, on many different levels. And he seems to be, encouraging you he seems to be you know whispering uh sweet words of encouragement the prince of cups is the kind of character who follows his heart he lets his romantic and idealistic uh, ideas drive him and and those are the things that decide what kinds of action he takes and what direction he goes in he seems to be encouraging you to do the same to um to allow your feelings and your passions and your creativity and imagination be the forces that guide you and that drive you. And when you get to the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we have the Ten of Cups. And I get the sense that the Ten of Cups is really about sharing and being part of a community seeing the big picture and and not just focusing on yourself but focusing on sharing with others and being part of a bigger group okay so i need a moment to just catch my breath and just uh, contemplate these cards for a sec It seems like the beginning of the week, there's this initial, almost like an initial heartache or a sadness, kind of like focusing, almost like, like I think you'll know what I mean by this, but when you really focus on the negative and look at everything with this, through this lens of nobody likes me, everyone hates me, I have no friends. I think we've all experienced that before. And it kind of seems like there's a tendency to kind of lean towards that way at the beginning of the week. 
but fear not because by midweek and definitely by the end of the week, it's almost like things swing in the other direction. And you see things with this, almost through these lenses, and I say that because he's wearing these glasses, you see things through this different lens. And it's a lens of love and peace and imagination and beauty and creativity. And it's almost like it, I, there's something very acid trippy or something about this character with all the patterns and designs around him. Um, but yeah, when you get to the middle of the week, it's almost like there's this switch and you're able to see things differently. The middle of the week is also a really good time to engage your creative side and do kind of artsy fartsy things like painting and crafts and stuff like that, music, dancing. And then the end of the week, it all comes together and you find almost like you feel like you have a place in this world and a place in your community. So the weekend is a really good time for reaching out and making connections, meeting new people, exploring different, um, different groups, different things, and also reestablishing or strengthening your existing connections with people, your existing friendships or groups that, that you're in. Okay, I'm just gonna take one last look at these cards. Ah, something just jumped out at me. There's a heart in the Ten of Cups, and there's also a heart in the Three of Swords. And so when we look at these two cards together, they're actually very, very similar. So any kind of pain, any kind of emotional pain, that you are experiencing or struggling with at the beginning of the week is wonderfully healed by the end of the week. And I think that that is really essentially the theme of this week is healing. It's about healing emotional pain and healing the sense that you're all alone and that you don't have any friends. It's about reaching out and finding connections, whether those are new connections you're making or strengthening ones that are already in existence. But this is really about healing emotional pain through your connections with others and your relationships with others. And this Prince of Cups also seems to give you some secrets and insights into how you can work through that emotional pain and how you can heal heartache and pain that you may have from past relationships. And he has this very he has creative solutions. He, he wants you to throw yourself into your artwork. He wants you to take that pain and use it as creative fuel. So whether that is, you know, being inspired to write something or, or dance or create something, he's saying, take that pain and use it for something beautiful. Use it to create beauty in the world rather than just reveling in the pain. Um, yeah, okay, so I think I'm going to leave it there. I don't think there's anything else that I want to add there, but very beautiful reading, and it's going to be a really beautiful week. It might start off intense, but overall, it's a very beautiful, loving, supportive week this week. So um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this reading helpful, and as always, I'd love to hear your input. So don't hesitate to add your two cents to this reading and let me know if this reading resonated, if it didn't resonate, and if there's anything you want to add, anything that jumped out to you during the reading. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Kate and you can find me on my website dailytarotgirl.com.